Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthlies for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy Valentine's Virgo. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. How are you feeling? I'm doing amazing. <laughs> all right my lovelies, let's get into your reading. We're going to start with the tarot cards. Once we're done with that, we will get into the oracle cards to see what spirits direct message is for you for this month of February 2021. All right, let's get into it, Virgo. We're starting off with the Nine of Swords, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. I see you guys very stuck in your head right now with the Eight of Swords here as well. I have the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? Things are about to change, be shaken off. Queen of Swords here. King of Swords, okay. We have the Chariot card. The Four of Wands. Why are you worried? Seven of Wands. There's no need to be worried, Virgo. Okay. So with the Nine of Swords, I definitely see you guys very much in your head. There is a situation that is bringing a lot of anxiety or a lot of worry to you. Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords, these are mental cards, you guys. So this has more to do with what's in your head than what, what is actually happening. This could be you guys jumping to conclusions. This could be you... Um, really being anxious for some of you guys, it could be a situation where there's been a bit of resistance in regards to some type of relationship, some type of partnership here. Um, you may be dealing with an air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I see cancer here as well. Uh, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries type of energy. However, what they're saying here is the nine of swords is right underneath um sorry it's right above the king of swords so what they're telling you here is virgo whatever it is that you're trying to manifest whatever it is that you're wanting to make happen for this month of february it's going to be very crucial and important for you to maintain control of your mind so this is kind of like being able to or learning to master um peace within you between the chaos so this could be people cir uh, circumstances or situations around you that are currently affecting or influencing you uh getting much in your head for some of you guys this could be communication people friends communicating giving you information that is creating more worry more anxiety and what they're saying here is that it is very important for you to be able to discern uh the information that they're giving to you so it has less to do about the message that they're communicating and it has more to do with you analyzing why do they feel comfortable sharing this information with you? What is their motive for doing so? If it's something that is going to hurt you or it's something that is going to create worry or anxiety, really wonder or question what is it their intention or motive behind this? There's always a reason and there's always a purpose. So is it because they're trying to interrupt your peace? Is it because they're trying to instigate? Is it because it's going to benefit you some in some type of way, the information that is being communicated to you? If it's not going to be beneficial and it's not going to assist you, then let it go. Take it with a grain of salt. It is important for you not to pay a lot of attention to rumors or people coming to you, giving you a lot of BS and drama. Now with the Eight of Swords, again, feeling stuck, feeling like you can move forward, you may be challenged right now, Virgo. And you may be challenged in the sense of you want things to progress, you want things to happen or unfold quickly. However, it's not happening quickly and you're frustrated. You're like, you know what, Pinky? I've been putting effort, I've been trying the best I can, um, to be on top of my A-game and it's just not happening. What the hell? What Spirit is telling you is that we need to work on controlling our mind. We need to work on being methodical. We need to work on being analytical about the decisions, situations, and circumstances that unfold in our life. It's almost like what they're showing me is they're showing me you sitting, uh, leaning behind a tree, and I see wind all around with leaves going everywhere. So it's like 
being able to learn to be still in the midst of chaos. This is how we master our mind. This is how we master our emotions. This is the type of energy that you're driving down the street and you get a you get a low, you know, a low tire or you get a flat tire, I should say. You pull to the side and you're complaining about I'm going to be late. You're complaining about this is just another thing that I needed to deal with today. You're complaining and complaining and complaining, right? And then you have the other person that gets a flat tire on their way to work. They're running late. They, you know, were running late because they had to feed their kids and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And they get a flat tire and they sit there and they thank the universe because that flat tire could have prevented them from going down the same road or the same path and it could have something could have happened that could have hindered or could have hurt them um it could have been that it kept them from getting into the freeway because if they would have gone in the freeway that tire would have popped and ran across i don't know how many cars do you see what i'm saying it's about we can all we all feel like we're dealing with our own chaos with our own craziness in our life but truth of the matter is everyone's dealing with something at some point in time and it's not just you it's everyone so it is more to do with how we react to these situations versus what is actually happening do you see what i'm saying what they're telling you here is yes you may not see movement you may not see progress, Virgo, but it doesn't mean it's not coming towards you because look, underneath the Eight of Swords, this is your mind. This is you being stuck or stubborn or feeling like you can move forward, feeling like you're restricted and you're complaining, right? You see those gray clouds behind and it's like I'm complaining about everything that's going on in my life, but what don't you see coming? You don't see movement. The chariot. This is coming in quick. This is success. This is getting things off the ground and moving forward in a very quick way. Look what you don't see here, Virgo. The wheel of fortune. Your luck is about to change. You're about to find some type of stability that you've been aiming or asking or wanting. Four of wands. This is stability. You are on your path. You are on your road to finding the stability that you've always asked for, that you've always wanted, that you've always desired. The chariot card with the four of wands. This is victory. This is stability. This is getting your, your uh, momentum to get your own place. This is finding a relationship that is going to be stable. The four of wands is that of building. It is that of structure. It is your home. It is you in the physical aspect. With the seven of wands here, knowing that you've been through all of this because life or the universe is going to bless you with the relationship you've always wanted. You guys already know, whenever we have a royal connection here meaning a partnership or um two royals of the same suit this is a strong connection that's coming in virgo this is a strong connection that may lead to some type of commitment here but you don't see it for some of you guys you may be dealing with people from the past that have you all torn up and you know, all confused and shit because they're confused about their feelings for you. Spirit is telling you, Virgo, wake up. See things for what they are. Pay attention to the signs that are being given to you. If that person is being inconsistent, believe them. If they tell you they don't know what they want, believe them. Stop draining your energy because you're focused on the past 
that you're not being able to embrace or look towards the future, which is much more stable. This is your luck changing when we're talking about partnerships. This is your luck changing when we're talking about structure, when we're talking about stability, when we're talking about growth. All right, my lovelies. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you for this month of February 2021. Spirit guides, what is the direct message you have for Virgos for this situation for the month of February 2021? What is the direct message for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, Virgo. Your first card here is healing chaos. See, this is exactly what I was seeing. <laughs> I was seeing you guys. They were showing me uh, mentally you sitting, leaning on a tree, something that is rooted and air all around and the air going crazy. Chaos. This is finding your peace in the midst of chaos. This is learning to master your emotions even if you feel like you don't understand what's happening even if you feel like you're not in control of your life right now or you feel like for some of you guys it could even be like those of you guys that are younger it could represent that you feel very confused because you don't know what you want to do with your life healing chaos it's okay to not know it's okay to be confused don't rush into making any decisions because truth of the matter is when you make quick, irrational decisions, often than not, you regret it. It's about learning to control your emotions, Virgo. Your next card is slow. Trust in the process. Let go. Let go of control. Let go of feeling like things have to unfold right now because if they don't, then it's not meant for me. That's not true. What Spirit is telling you is whatever is meant for you is what you want. Because if it wasn't meant for you, you wouldn't want that. It's about surrendering, letting go, trusting. Your next card is change. All of this is propelling you to the next cycle in your life, Virgo. And it's going to be transformative, let me tell you. But what they're telling you right now is have faith. If you feel like things are out of your control, step away from that and say to the universe, you know what, I surrender. Whatever changes are coming, I embrace them. Whatever endings need to happen, I thank them and release them. It's going with the flow. It is embracing the changes. It is preparing you. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, some type of clarity. I wish you guys the very best. Happy Valentine's again. And we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.